Hello everyone! Today is August preview day two and here's the card that we'll be putting together and this is the, the adorable Swissy Fairies and I used her and that sentiment and also the coordinating dies and the fairy um, scene for those two and the cloud and grass die for the for the grass my card base is five and three fourth by four and a half and I'm just gonna take the same pattern I use on top for just to dress it up a bit and just glue that down there you go use my tool and here is the first layer I'm just gonna put it directly down so I have a nice white border all around. All the paper is from Doodlebug again. And I will put some foam tape. And so for some dimension and line that up. And put one more layer of pattern. I think they're little stars. And this one is little clouds and it has the sentiment on it. Magical birthday wishes. And as you see, I put it more on the top because I'm going to put the green um, little border. So the grass look on the bottom. So that's where my image are going to sit on the grass. So that's why I put that blue piece a little higher. And here is a little tree stump so my little fairy can sit on it she's so adorable love love her and there's my flowers and here she is and that's the one I'm gonna color a little later on in this video I just uh, I colored her twice as I always do line it line up my my flowers and I roll the leaves up a bit just for more dimension so it doesn't look flat and there you go now I'm gonna put some of uh, some enamel dots just so it matches all the colors that matches and I'll put those away and we'll start coloring the little pixie. I'm making her a little darker skin so I'm starting with the E13. And just put that all around her face and now I'm going in with the E25. And just go a little bit in. And again with the 13 and I bring the 25 just so I could touch the nib just to help it along with the blending and then just fill it up and then blend I will also bring the E11 so I don't lose like so it's not a solid look but I still had some streaks so it, it helped there. So now I'm doing the hand and the little legs that are showing and her little neck. And I got the darker, the 25 right now. And bring back the 13. blend those and bring a little bit of the 11 again just to help it blend right now I'm going in with the E37 and just make some little flicking for the hair 
guess it's just the first layer. I'm just doing her braids now. It's so hard. They're all so cute. It's like, which one do I start with? <laughs> I started with her and I'm not sure I have to do the the blog hop. I'm not sure what set I'm going to use yet with that. So now I'm doing her little booties, uh, RV32 and RV34. Just take the nib again just to help it along. Now the darker shade I'm going to use is the 29, so E29 for the hair. So I flick some of that. But I did make a mistake after. I went with the 30, 37 and then I stopped and then I went back and I again used the 37 you'll see that in a bit I was supposed to take a different color but I didn't I didn't notice I was trying to do a different color so I'm not used to these colors combination so here I have the B00 for the wings See, I've got the 37 and then I'll stop again and I'll go again so just saying I should have I'm not sure what color I should have went with this time that's a hard part I should have wrote it down when I did the first one and I didn't live and learn I'll, I'll get it <laughs> next time so now I got the V15 and I'm doing her little dress and her elastic in her hair and now I've got the V17 and just put a little bit of that just some shading and here I'm just blending those two I'm not usually a purple person. I don't usually always tend to go to the purples, but that's two cards in a row. Plus the other one I did too had lots of purple. I don't know. <laughs> I've been stuck on purple for a bit. So I'm just blending those. See again with the 37. Oops. Oh, well, it still looks okay. It's just not quite the same color as the one I did put on the card already. I should have went with a different one. Maybe the 35 or something. Not sure what I had did with the first one, but anywho. Anywho, it is what it is. Yeah, I have to start coloring and doing my card for the blog hop. So like I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'll see, I'll see what um, inspires me, I guess. <laughs> Here I'm just doing my pencil work now with my gamsole and a nib and with the pink for her little booties. And I got some purple for some shading now. I'll blend that. And blend that. So as always, just subscribe to this channel and then you'll get all the updates with all the new videos and you'll see the blog hop because uh, we have blog hop on Friday with these adorable sets at CC Design and here I'm just putting a little bit of dark brown a little darker than usual because her skin color is a little darker right and I'm just gonna blend that until I'm happy with it And 
just blend those. Now I'm doing the hand. Here I'm just putting the white back into her eyes because I covered it with the skin color. Now I, I grabbed a darker shade again than the skin color for the hair. I'm just adding some of that. And now I'm going to flick that. So I'll just bring that into the hair. So I have a little bit of blue for the wing just to add a little bit more color to the wing. Here I'm bringing a little bit of a, a sparkle with my um, Wink Estella pen and I'm doing the booties too. I haven't done it to the first one on the card so I'll do that a little later. So here she is all done. And here's the card. And like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle on her here too. Because I had forgot. Simple card base. Like, there's a lot of layers, but it's very simple. And I just love the little scene I created with her. She's so beautiful. So here it is again. And... I will show you again the new product for CC Design for this month, August. And little fairies and the dies. And here's my card and I'll see you back Friday. See you soon. Bye.